Hi, I'm Bethany and I'm an aquarist here at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium and today we're going to talk about starfish or sea stars. So we have several different species here at the aquarium. Uh, we're going to start here with the Bahama sea stars that live in our invertebrate pool. And they have a bottom surface where their mouth is right there in the middle and rows of two feet coming out in every direction. Those end in little suction cups, so that's how he's sticking to the window. And that's also how they move. And they also have a back surface with little spikes all over it. So some of the most interesting things about sea stars are the way they move and the way they breathe. And both of those work a lot on what's called a water vascular system. So vascular blood vessels, you might think of those. Now these guys do have a couple of blood vessels, but most of their circulatory system is done with just seawater. So, that seawater can move these two feet in and out. Let's see if we can convince him to move them a little bit. So you can see he's pulling them in just a little bit as I pester him. So we'll let him relax now and you'll see them pop back out. And having pestered him, he might actually decide that this is no longer a fun place to hang out and start moving very slowly across the surface. He's gonna do that by sticking out each tube foot, sticking and pulling himself along. Sea stars are really slow. Their average speed is about six inches a minute. The fastest sea star there is can move about nine feet a minute. <laughs> so that is quite a lot slower than even your walking speed. So that is how they move. They tend to look like they're just gliding across because the arms themselves don't actually move, just the two feet. They also use that water vascular system to breathe. Oh. And that is by sticking little papillae or little uh, hair-like projections out of their back. These guys aren't great for viewing that, but we will get to some leather stars in a little bit that are much better for seeing those. But all those little white specks in between the big bumps are papillae that are all pulled in right now. So when those are sticking out, they look pretty hairy lot of surface area for gas exchange with the water and then that will circulate through that water seawater inside their bodies to move it all throughout to all their tissues so they can again use pre hydrostatic pressure use pressure inside that to move them in and out and this specific little dot right here this light area right there that is called the madreporite, big word. It basically is just the opening that they can open or close to determine how much water is inside of them. So as you can see from our leather star and also our pink star in this exhibit, uh, they are looking a lot furrier with all of those papillae out. These are some cold water species. So sea stars do live in different climates all over the world and you just get different species most of them have five arms although there are a few exceptions and you can also see that these guys arms are a little bit more flexible than the bahama stars that we were looking at earlier all sea stars can move those arms independently a little bit um, but how much they do so is very much dependent on species so the reason we call them sea stars and not starfish most of the time is because they're not actually fish. They're in a group called echinoderms, which means spiny skin. Other echinoderms include sea urchins and sea cucumbers. So it's a big group of invertebrate animals. These guys are all modeled sea stars. 
And as these stars go, they are probably some of the most flexible.